European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen spoke out against the forced displacement of the Palestinian people at the meeting in Cairo on Saturday, November 19, with Egypt's President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. The two leaders discussed the ongoing humanitarian crisis in Gaza and explored a political horizon based on the two-state solution. Israel launched a military campaign in Gaza following Hamas attacks on October 7. In addition to our humanitarian support, we're reaching out to our partners in the region to prevent violence from spreading. I had a very good meeting on this with President Sisi this morning. We discussed in particular how to work together to avoid regional escalation. Egypt is a key partner in this. Its voice is heard across the region and by all sectors. International aid arrived at the international airport in Arich, about 40 kilometers from the Rafah crossing into Gaza. The Rafah crossing has been crucial to the flow of aid into war-ravaged Gaza as it is the only entry point for aid not controlled by Israel. Over the last month, we have quadrupled our humanitarian aid to over 100 million euro. And in addition, our member states have added 260 million euros. We have organized a humanitarian air bridge operation. It is bringing vital supplies to El Arish for the people of Gaza. We have today completed 15 flights so far, and we are organizing more and more flights every day. According to a statement by the governor of the Egyptian border region, von der Leyen later arrived in North Sinai for the arrival of a European Union humanitarian convoy.